In the third part, I continue to solve some problems uh, for your midterm exam. Uh, this part includes chain rule, implicit differentiation, slope and the tangent line. Let's start from the first example. Let f, g and y be functions of x and we have a table in this table some values of f, g, f prime and g prime are given. Let's continue to read the question. The tangent line of the curve y at the point O1 is given by this equality. And the question is that determine the values of m and k such that m minus k is equal to 3 and this equality is satisfied. So it is requested to find the values of m and k here. I think the first step um, is good idea to differentiate each side of this equality with respect to x and don't forget y is the function of x. Let's try to differentiate derivative of left hand side is equal to derivative of right hand side with respect to x. Derivative of sine and don't forget we have chain rule here, right? Derivative of sine is cosine. Don't change the inside of the parentheses, mxy, times derivative of inside. Derivative of mx is m times y plus mx times derivative of y is dy over dx, or y prime, shortly. y prime, right? This is equal to derivative of right hand side, the first expression. Derivative of x, you have multiplication of two functions, so you use the, the rule of multiplication of two functions, derivative of multiplication of two functions here. Derivative of x is 1 times second component itself times plus, sorry, uh, x times Let me write down here x times derivative of exponential function. We first write exponential function itself. Don't change the power. Times derivative of power. k times f prime of g of y. And from chain rule, you multiply by g prime of y. And again by chain rule you multiply by y prime minus derivative of arctangent kx is, the, is from the formula of derivative of arctangent x is derivative of inside is k over 1 plus k square x square ok it is all we differentiated both sides of the equality now let's plug the number let's plug the number 0 in this equality for x equals to 0 y is equal to 1 when x is 0 y is 1 right ok cosine I rewrite rearrange this equality Cosine mxy, since x is 0, we have cosine 0, which is 1. Okay, this is 1. 1 times, we have m here, I can take the parenthesis of m. y is 1 plus x is 0, this is why it becomes 0. This is equal to. e to the power k times f of g of 1 okay plus since x is 0 this we multiply this whole expression by 0 so it becomes 0 minus k over 1 plus since x is 0 this 
part also becomes zero we finally have this equality so what is g of 1 let's look at the table g of 1 is 2 okay g of 1 is 2 what is f of 2 let's go back to the table f of 2 is here 0 so this is 0 what do we have finally we have m is equal to e to the power 0 is 1 minus k right and from here we have m plus k is equal to 1 m minus this is equal to 1 m minus k is equal to 3 is given in the question here m minus k is equal to 3 okay then if you calculate you see that m is 2 and uh, k here is k is minus minus 1 I think right minus 1 yes okay this is done let's look at the second example find an equation of the tangent line of the yellow equation at the point 1 1 as you see this uh, equation is implicitly given so we will implicitly differentiate the equality uh, let's start from left hand side I will differentiate implicitly with respect to X we have multiplication of two functions here derivative of left hand side with respect to X we have multiplication of two functions derivative of x times second function which is sine xy minus y square plus derivative first times derivative of second first is x times derivative of sine is cosine we don't change the inside of the parenthesis times derivative of inside of the parenthesis we have multiplication of two functions here derivative of x times y is y plus x times derivative of y is y prime minus derivative of y square we first reduce the power of y it becomes the power becomes 1 times from chain rule we multiply by y prime this is equal to derivative of right hand side is 2x okay so I want to take the I want to slightly reorganize this equality let's say we have the parentheses of y prime we have x square right I multiply x square by cosine xy minus y square is the first thing and the second one is minus 2xy 2xy cosine xy minus y square so what do we have okay it is all this is equal to we have 2x on the right hand side of the equality I take this to the, to the other side of the equality as minus sine xy minus y square and we also have this term minus xy cosine xy minus y square let's make y prime alone y prime alone this is equal to 2x okay minus sine xy minus y square minus xy cosine xy minus y square divided by this expression uh, so if you take the parentheses of cosine you have 
x square minus 2xy and the parentheses of cosine function cosine xy minus y square okay let's look at the question again was requested to find find an equation of the tangent line at the point 1 1 right so uh, if we substitute the coordinates x equals 1 and y equals 1 and solve the resulting equation for y prime y prime you obtain y prime y prime becomes I plug the values 1 1 instead of x and y okay let's see what do we have we have 2 times 1 minus sine if you have 1 1 for x and y then you have 0 here minus 1 1 cosine 0 cosine 0 divided by if you have 1 1 then you have minus 1 here times cosine 0 again so what is the result this is 0 right this is 1 this is 1 so 2 minus 1 divided by minus 1 finally you have minus 1 it is the slope it is the slope of the function at the point 1 1 we have the slope we have the point so the remaining part is to memorize the formula the slope point formula of the tangent line what was the formula y minus y0 yo let's say is equal to slope times x minus x o using this formula you have the points are given here we find the slope x minus 1 it is the tangent line of the given equality at the point 1 1 so let's continue to the third example we have a strange equality here we have a tangent line question determine a and b such that the red equality has slope 1 over 4 at the point 1 0 and write the tangent line of the given equation let's first write the tangent line of the given equation i gave the formula of tangent line before the point is given the slope is given so it's very easy to write the tangent line y minus y o which is zero in this case slope times x minus x o which is one it is a tangent line okay so the third the second part is done what about the first one determine a and b such that this equality has slope one over four so i think we have to differentiate the red equality with respect to x okay implicitly of course since y is a function of x we have to implicitly differentiate this equality okay let's let's differentiate step by step derivative of x square is 2x times second component plus x square times derivative of second component b times it, the function itself e to the power b sine y square x okay times derivative of sine y square derivative of sine y square let's say sine y square x derivative minus derivative of sine a y is equal to a times y prime is coming from the chain rule derivative of inside is a y prime times derivative of sine is cosine 
cosine ay. Derivative of right hand side of the equality is zero. It is the first step. If you continue to differentiate this term and uh, take the parentheses of y prime, you will have this expression. If I am not wrong. minus 2x e to the power b sine y square x minus b y square e to the power b sine y square x times cosine y square x. Okay, divided by b e to the power b, the same function, times cosine y square x, 2yx, minus a cosine a y. Okay, and this is the slope at the point 1, 0. The slope at the point 1, 0 is equal to 1 over 4. This is why when you give the points 1, 0, this must be equal to 1 over 4. Okay? So 1 over 4, 1 over 4, which is the slope, is equal to y prime. When you plug 1 over 4, when you plug the values 1 and 0, 0 you have minus 2 divided by minus a. You only have this one. This implies a is 8 and b can be any real number. We do not have any restriction on b. And the final question. Let f of x and g of x be differentiable functions f prime f f prime of 2 f of 2 g prime of 2 g of 2 are given uh, we use this information to compute m prime of 2 m is given here as you see we have multiplication of two functions g and ln function let's first find m of m prime of x derivative of first function is g of x times second function ln of f of x plus g of x times derivative of ln f of x derivative of inside over inside is the formula of derivative of ln function derivative of inside over inside itself so what do we need m prime of 2 m prime of 2 is equal to g prime of 2 times ln f of 2 plus g of 2 times f prime of 2 divided by f of 2. We have all these values in the question, so let's use this information. g prime of 2 is minus 4 times ln f of 2 is 2 this is ln 2 so plus g of 2 is 18 f prime of 2 is 7 f 2 is 2 